Insertion talk, ISQ and primary stability is a, topic, is a topic subject to discussion and perhaps confusion. How do you think it will be or should be further discussed and clarified during 2018? So I think the problem with insertion talk is that it is a static measure that one takes at a given moment in time. Uh, it is not something that you can measure longitudinally. So whilst an implant might attain high insertion talk, uh, the literature is very clear that that does not guarantee that the implant will integrate and that there is no way for us to assess whether actually the quality of the integration uh, is such that secondary stability ends up higher than primary stability or lower than primary stability. The big advantage of uh, resonance frequency and the ISQ value is that we can take a series of longitudinal measurements so that we can chart the course and the quality of integration over time. Uh, and indeed, what we've seen from my own research in particular, what I've seen is that very often implants with really quite low insertion talk can still attain a very high axial stiffness, which is essentially uh, what this instrument measures. So I think there is a debate to be had about what constitutes primary stability. Is it rotation or axial stiffness? And clearly, in my mind, rotation is not the vector of force that I'm concerned with when it comes to functional loading. Axial stiffness is the vector that I'm concerned with. And so it seems to me that we should be measuring primary stability and second, secondary stability uh, by means of axial stiffness. And that's what the ISQ value does for us.